This is the all-new Canon RF 14-35 f4L IS USM lens and I'm really excited to open this box because I've been waiting for a lens like this for a long time and I'm gonna tell you why in a bit but let me get into this I want to get the lens out of this box so inside the box we have the bag for the lens then you've got the manual and warranty card and then we have a lens hood which is tiny and that is because the lens goes to 14 millimeters so this can't be really that big because it would be visible in the shots not sure if this is helpful for like 35 millimeters but we'll see and then we obviously have the lens itself now this is actually a bit bigger and heavier than what i thought it would be but it's not big it's really small for a wide angle zoom like this and one of the biggest reasons why I got this exact lens is actually the size of this lens. I've wanted to have a wide angle zoom like a 16 to 35 for a long time, but as I am someone who likes to travel with a light setup, I wanted to have a small, lightweight, compact lens. And I'm really happy Canon came out with this lens because this just seems like the perfect choice for me. Now, in addition to the size and weight of this lens, one huge reason why I wanted to get this lens is the focal length of this lens. I've owned a 14mm and a 35mm lens, so now I could combine those two lenses into this one package. 14mm is ultra wide, I don't think I would ever need to go wider than that, and 35mm to me is my favorite focal length. It's kind of that sweet spot between not being too wide but also not being too tight. But focal length is always about personal preference and what you shoot, so don't think of my thoughts as pure facts, those are just my opinions. Also this lens has IS or image stabilization built in, so combined with the IBIS in the R6 that I have as my camera, this should get some extremely smooth footage for videos and extremely sharp photos handheld because the IS and the IBIS combined will smooth out all of the shakes from my hands. So I'm not sponsored by Canon, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I bought this lens with my own money and everything that I say in this video will be my personal thoughts only. And this is an unboxing and first impressions video so I haven't used this lens yet. This is the first time that I'm holding this lens so I cannot give you a full review yet but I'm gonna make one in the future so if you have any questions about this lens just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer those in the future. But in this video I just want to share my initial thoughts about this lens, what I think of it while using it for the very first time. Now this also feels really solid as it should because it is an L-series lens and they are always of really high quality so this is plasticky but it's not like a cheap plastic feel. It feels really high quality. Now the one thing that I'm not too sure about with this lens is the aperture. This is an f4 lens so it's not gonna let as much light in. The background won't be as blurry as I would like it to be but I think I'm gonna be fine with an f4. I don't think that will be a huge issue but that is something to consider if you're thinking of buying this lens. Now there is a few things that I want to test out with this lens today. One being the overall image quality. Obviously I want to see how much of distortion you have in the wide end with like walls or anything like that. And then I just want to see how the images and footage look out of this lens in general and then I also want to see if there's a lot of vignetting in the corners and I also want to see if this is as versatile as I think it should be with this focal range and also if you've seen any of my previous videos you know that there's a lot of wobbling around the corners as I'm shooting with the 14 millimeter lens without IS using only the in-camera stabilization the IBIS in my R6 so I want to see if the wobble goes away with this lens because it has that built-in stabilization in the lens so we're gonna see if that helps with the wobble so I want to see how this works in like a vlogging scenario. And I also want to see how good the IS is for video footage. So I want to see how smooth footage I can shoot with this handheld. And then one more thing that I want to know is how close you can focus with this. So can I get kind of macro shots with this? This lens will focus to 20 centimeters or 0.66 feet. So that's kind of a close focusing distance. So I'll just have to see how that looks with the 35 millimeters. But now it is time for me to go outside and actually test this lens out. So I'm gonna go take some photos and fill some b-roll and then come back to you. Okay, so I'm back by the computer and I've reviewed the footage and the photos and there are some good things and some bad things that I want to say about this lens. And I'm going to want to start off with the good stuff. So 
This is incredibly versatile. I'm so amazed how close you can focus with this lens. So everything you saw in the b-roll sequence was shot with this lens handheld so you can see how versatile that lens actually is. You can get that ultra wide field of view but you can also focus really close to your subjects to get those macro shots. And also in this photo you can see that we are focusing really really close to the subject. So in terms of versatility this lens is incredible. And for me this seems like the perfect wide angle lens in that respect. Now with the autofocus this is a Canon L series lens with the USM or ultrasonic motor for focusing and as always that is incredibly fast quiet and accurate so nothing bad to say about the autofocus with this lens. The IS in combination with the IBIS of the R6 works perfectly so it's really easy to get smooth footage even handheld as well as sharp photos but I don't really have anything too special to say about the IS it just works really well. And the images are really sharp all the way to the edges and I really like how they look but even though the images are really sharp they are not perfect and I'm gonna go to the bad stuff in a second. Now as this lens is an L-series lens it feels really good in my hands and it feels really good to use so kind of physically this lens feels amazing and it does have that rubber ring for weather sealing which is a really good thing to have as well. However this lens is by no means perfect and first off I want to talk about the vignetting at 14 millimeters so for example in this photo you can see there's some really really strong vignetting in the far corners of the image and you can see it in this photo as well. So the vignetting at 14 millimeters is really really strong but it's gone once you zoom in to basically anything above 14 millimeters and this is a very easy fix on the computer. So I don't really see this as a big issue but it is an issue. Now the second complaint about this lens that I have is the barrel distortion or how straight your lines will be in the photos. So for example in this photo on the left side you can see the straight line isn't really extremely straight. Now the roof of this building is kind of curved so don't look at that just look at the window it's not perfectly straight as it should be but then again this is also a very easy fix in post on the computer so once again this is an issue but I don't really think it's that big of an issue because it's such an easy fix on the computer. So those are my initial thoughts about this lens now there was one more thing that I wanted to test out which was vlogging on this lens so let's go see how that looks. So one thing that I didn't like with my old setup was the way I had to vlog with it because I was using a 14 millimeter uh, lens without IS so I was always limited to only the 14 millimeter and without the IS it had a horrible wobble in all of the corners of the image so right now I'm using the IBIS in the camera as well as the IS in the lens so those two are combined now I don't know about the wobble with this lens but I'll have to see that on the computer because I can't really see it on the camera screen because that's too small for that but also if this lens wobbles I can always zoom something like this maybe doesn't wobble as much in the corners if the 14 millimeter wobbles with the IS and the IBIS. So right now I'm at 20 millimeters so it shouldn't wobble in the corners but we'll see. Also now that this is a 14 to 35 a zoom lens it's way easier for me to shoot b-roll with this lens because I can go to the 35 instead of being stuck to the 14 millimeters and with all the b-roll that I've just shot I can already tell that this lens is amazing to use. Now looking back at the vlogging footage on the computer, this lens still has that vlogging issue at 14 millimeters, even though this has that IS built into the lens. So the IBIS wobble isn't really completely gone even with the lens stabilization on. And I think there's still a bit of wobbling even though I'm zoomed into that 20 millimeters. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but I hope Canon will release a firmware update for the camera that will let us use only the lens stabilization and turn off the in camera IBIS completely. So that's all I have to say about this lens for now. I will be making that full review later on when I've used this for a while and I know more about this lens. Now after using this lens for a couple of days and seeing the photos and the footage on the computer I really like this lens. I really think this is a super versatile lens and perfect for my use. So if you have any questions about this lens just drop a comment down below and I'll try to answer those in the future. But that is all for the first impressions video of this lens. Thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one.